Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss in details about characteristics of materials, material categories, and unit versus bulk handling of material. This video is a part of our course on material handling equipments. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here. We come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Characteristics of materials. The characteristics of materials affecting handling include the following. Size is the material characteristics which includes, width, depth, height of the material, which affects material handling. Weight of a material may include the, weight per item, or per unit volume of the material. Shape of the material takes into account whether the material is, round, square, long, rectangular, or irregular in shape. And other characteristics like whether the material being handled is, slippery, fragile, sticky, explosive, or frozen, are taken in account during material handling. Material Categories The materials in material handling can be divided into three main material categories. Individual Units containerized items and bulk materials depending on the physical states of materials that is whether the materials are solid liquid or gaseous the different categories of materials can be handled differently the individual units of materials are carried as individual part or subassembly in the solid state but the materials in their liquid or gaseous states are not handled as individual units carton bag tote box, pallet, bin etc. can be used to carry containerized items in their solid states. Containerized items in their liquid states can be carried using barrels. Cylinders can be used to carry containerized items in tear gaseous states. Sand, cement, coal, and other similar granular products are considered as bulk materials in solid state. Liquid chemicals, solvents gasoline etc. are bulk materials in liquid states. Oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide can be examples of bulk materials in the gaseous state. The impact of the material category on the type of MH equipment is as follows. The individual units and containerized items go through discrete material flow, they are handled as unit loads using unit handling equipment. Bulk materials move through continuous material flow using bulk handling equipment. This figure shows an example of alternate ways of handling a dry bulk material. The dry bulk materials can be handled as containerized, bagged, items on pallets handled using unit handling equipments like, box car, pallet, fork truck, etc. Or the dry bulk materials can be alternatively handled as bulk materials instead of containerized items, and handled using bulk handling equipments like, Hopper car, pneumatic conveyor, bulk storage pin, etc. The handling of dry bulk materials as unit loads, and alternatively as bulk loads, are demonstrated in this figure here. So, we have discussed in details about characteristics of materials, material categories, and unit versus bulk handling of material. Thank you.